everybody, welcome back to Zephyr's Travels. Today's adventure, we are at Watkins Glen International Racetrack and we're here for the NASCAR race at the Glen. And this is going to be a quick look at what it's like to go to a NASCAR race. racetrack early you might get the opportunity to get an autograph of one of your favorite drivers. Right over here is a line for uh, driver Eric Almarola and a lot of people are lined up to uh, get his autograph this morning. racetrack. This is what, right right after the 90 and going into the S's? Right, right after the first uh, turn number one. Yep. And so our, our grandstand seats are right behind us. Right up there, yep. Be interesting. So we need to make sure we get out of the way here before cars come by. Right. <laughs> okay. We got the racetrack early, um, actually probably over four hours before the race starts because we wanted to be able to get in there and walk around and see some of the souvenir tra trailers and such before the crowds got really heavy. And also gives us an opportunity to do a little uh, tailgating here behind the car. Now we did leave our truck home and our Airstream home. This is just a one day trip for us. We didn't plan on coming down here and camp this year. So we are just taking our little car and coming down for the day. We live about 90 miles from Watkins Glen International. So it was a couple hour drive, wasn't too bad. So what do you got there? What is it? A chicken Caesar wheat wrap from Wegmans. Yeah, this looks good. Tastes pretty good too. I have a turkey sub with ranch dressing from Wegmans. So this is the stuff we bring into the racetrack. We've got binoculars, a race scanner, a couple headsets to block out the noise, rain ponchos just in case, some cushions to sit on. Everything's in a clear plastic bag which makes it easy to go through security. We bring a cooler with a few beverages in it. And that's about it. Anything else we need to take? Um. Are you going to take those seats or just our pillows? Which one do you want? Do you want to take them both? Or? No, we'll just take them. Okay. We've made it up to our grandstand seats. Right at the first turn. Yep, this is... This section of the racetrack is considered the 90, and we've had these seats here for, I don't know, how many years? Long time. A very long time. Yeah, we've sat in different areas of this track, but enjoy this spot the best because they come down this first turn and they make the sharp 90 degree turn, and it's a passing point, so cars are jockeying for position and trying to outbreak the other guy, and 
Usually things go wrong and someone will slide off the track in front of you. This makes it quite entertaining. Then we can see him go up through the S's and then we can see him come down the front stretch at the start finish line. Right, so we got our really good sight lines here from these seats. We've sat on the front stretch before for a number of years, and you can see the pit area, but that's all you can see is that front stretch area. You can't see any corners. So this, you at least get to see a few corners, and things usually tend to happen, and this is one of the places it tends to happen. There's probably three good points in this racetrack where there's action, and this is one of them. Well, the race is over. Diane, your driver didn't win. Came in second, though. He came in second, but what a, a rebound. Yeah. Starting last. Yep. So, yeah. So, anything you got to tell our followers on uh, going to an NASCAR race? Uh, yes. I would recommend get to the race early, even in the half the way. A lot of people do. Um, Tailgate parties, seems. And um, yeah, for Watkins Glen, probably uh, turn one is the best seat. Um, or the best grandstand, I'm sorry. And uh, what else? I would say be prepared to do a lot of walking. Right. You know, wear some comfortable shoes, be prepared to get out and move around. I mean, we've probably done 10,000 steps already today, easily. And you can do more than that if you go out and Hit more of the souvenir shops or whatever. Yeah. Be prepared for any kind of weather at a road course. Or any racetrack. Wow. Well, yeah, have some ponchos or something in case it rains. Right.
spot even more so in a road course because they may run in the rain. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah. And if you can, have a scanner. Yeah, have some way to follow the race. A scanner, a radio, headsets help a lot because the uh, cars are loud and it's like hard to hear. So have a headset that blocks noise is a good idea too. And well, bring, bring a camera. Bring a camera, bring bring something to drink, bring a cooler, bring some drinks. It's going to be a long afternoon and you want to have something to wet your whistle, so to speak. Right, because once you get in the grandstand, they're usually crowded and it's not that easy to get in and out. So yeah. take care of all your business before you go up to your seat. Good point, good point, yep. And while we're almost back to the car, we're making good progress and we should beat most of the traffic out of here today, because we've got a, which is good because we've got a, a couple hour drive back home and get back to our dogs and such. So we'll wrap this one up here at this point. And if you haven't done so already and you'd like to, uh, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, give us a comment if you've ever been to a NASCAR race, and we will see you next time. See you guys down the road.